Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And in this lesson, I want to go ahead and show you all something that I did a while ago. I want to do a revamp of this. Actually, this is a tutorial I did, one of the first I ever did about three years ago. This is on uh, doing a simple little cartoon eye. This is a new and improved version I'm going to do uh, and show you how to get that really nice, clean Saturday morning cartoon line in Flash. Uh, instead of something that typically looks like, oh, yeah, you did that in a flash. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, I've got my little KISS uh, set of swatches set up here. Uh, one for Gene, one for Paul, one for Peter, and one for, oh, good grief. Oh, well, anyway, you get the point. Uh, keeping it very simple here, uh, black, white, and blue and red, kind of off of a traditional uh, animation when you're sketching things. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab my brush tool. Uh, I'm gonna grab my blue color here, and I'm gonna sketch out. Um, I'm using a mouse, by the way, because not everyone has a Wacom. I'm just sketching out what I want my eye shape to look like and say, okay, yeah, there's the eyelid and I want the little pupil to be there. Okay. Um, and I guess that looks pretty decent. Um, again, it's just a sketch. So what I'm going to do now is very important. Always name your layers. This is going to be my uh, sketch layer. This is my learning how to spell layer. Okay. And what I want to do next, I'm going to set this to a guide layer. I'm going to simply right click or control click here and set this layer to a guide, which basically means that you're not going to see this layer when you export the movie. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is insert a new layer here. And let's lock our little sketch layer. And this is going to be our, you can call it I layer. All right. Now here's the thing. We drew this out with a brush tool. So you see all these little traditional looking little flash lines. You got the thick and thin thing happening there and it looks kind of sketchy. It's not very polished. So let's go ahead and clean this up. I'm going to grab my line tool and I've got my stroke set to about eight. Okay. So what I'm going to do is click and drag. I'm tracing this pretty much what I'm going to do. This is going to be this long curve here. So I'm going to click and drag here. Okay. And you're thinking, okay, that's not a curved line. Here's a little trick I can do. Um, I'm not going to change tools, but I'm going to hold down my command key control on PC. And if I get close to this little area right here and click and drag and push this to match that curve. Okay. Let's do it again. It's good to do a little angle there. Hold on my command key control on PC and get it to match that curve. It's almost there right at the end. Looks pretty decent. Um, so I'm just going to keep doing this. Uh, and if you're familiar with working with vectors at all, the fewer points you have, like each time I have one of those little lines there, it's an anchor point. So the fewer of those you have, the smoother you can make the line. If you notice, I'm not doing this and then this and then that. Okay. That would end up for a very very jagged looking line, even if you tried to smooth out the points. So the fewer points you have, the better. Okay. Let's bring that up. Looks good. Now here's the thing. I'm, um, I'm going to zoom in for a second. Let's go. This looks a little bit off right here. So I'm going to show you a trick. Now, when I first started using Flash, I was like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. This is so much better than the pen tool. For those of you out there who are more familiar with the pen tool, uh, check this out. I'm going to grab my sub selection tool, click right here and whoa, dude, there are direction handles here. I can start controlling things and get even more control over stuff, controlling things and getting more control over stuff. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to use the word control one more time to say that I'm not going to say control that often. All right. So this one right there, that looks like it could be straightened out a little bit. It's playing around with the direction handles here. Okay. It's pretty clean. All right. Now let's get our lid going. So I'm going to go back to the line tool, click and drag this over. Okay. Uh, hold on my command key, control on PC and bend that up. Looks good. Now let's do our little pupil. 
going to get our oval tool and make sure I'm not going to have a fill color here. I'm going to click and put none for the fill color. Now here's the trick I want to do. I want to hold down my option key and my shift key at the same time and click and drag from the center. And that would be alt and shift on PC. I'm going to click and drag and see if you notice I'm pulling this from the center. So it's pretty cool. Okay. Now, cool thing about working in flash, you got this little hump right there. We really don't need it. Get our selection tool, click here. Oh, not that one this top area right there, and then we'll simply delete or backspace. Okay, so we've got the basis of our eye done. So what I'm going to do now, this is what's going to make our lives a lot easier. I'm going to select all of this and convert it to a symbol. Let's do F8. And this is going to be a graphic symbol, and I'm going to call it something really complicated like I. Okay. Now, this is a graphic symbol. And I want to go into the graphic symbols timeline. Right now, we are on scene one or the main timeline. So I'm going to simply double click. Now, mind you, I can't double click in the center here. I'd have to double click right where the line is drawn. Okay. Now I'm actually inside the eyes timeline. All right. So let's do this. Uh, first, I'm going to insert a keyframe. Let's do F6. Okay, so now we have frame two. What I'm going to do with frame two, I'm going to click only parts of this. Okay, we've got the bottom part. Hold on my shift key. Click the top part. Okay, I'm going to click the lid. Okay, it stops right there because that's where this other line is connecting. Click the middle part. Click the end part. So these are the only parts I want selected for now. Okay, going to go to my free transform tool. Okay, and I'm going to push this down, and this is a whole little squash and stretch here. I'm going to push this down a bit, and kind of like a rubber ball, if this actually goes down, then this also should go out the same, about the same uh, little mass there. So I'm going to hold down my Option key, Alt on PC, and if you notice, it's pulling both sides at the same time. So, okay. Now, the other thing I want to do is I am now going to click our little pupil here, and we're going to move this down a bit, just a little. Okay. All right. Now, just to make sure this is going to look good, I'm going to go back. Okay, it's dropping down a little bit. Looks good. Let's get rid of these two points on the top. If you remember, just click here, delete, click here, delete. All right. Not bad. Let's do F6. We're now in frame two. We're going to do F6 one more time to get a third frame. And this third frame, what we're going to do is click our pupil, and that's going to go bye-bye. And to select all of this, I want to simply double click. Okay. And we're going to push down a bit and hold on my option key again. And we're going to pull out on the side. So it's going, we're squishing down and we're pulling out at the same time. One last thing, I'm going to grab our lid here and I'm going to cheat a bit, hold on my shift key and use my arrow tools, my down arrow tools, which is moving us 10 pixels at a time to bring the lid down a bit. So what I'm going to do now is grab my playhead and scrub this. Hey, that looks pretty cool. Nice little convincing blink there. Now the thing is, instead of us, if you notice, if we'd have just done, uh, just had this automatically closed and we wouldn't have done any squash and stretch, what would have happened is it would have looked okay, but this actually really pushes the illusion of life here, like it's something really alive. Okay.